The season had been long. The tracks, long. The laps, long. This long stretch of racing had led to the final race at Homestead, Miami. It was time to once and for all crown a NASCAR Cup Series champion at Homestead, Miami. All right, everyone, it has been leading up to this moment, that moment to crown a champion. Ryan Blaney has failed technical inspection, Eric Jones crashed during qualifying, and your pole winner is William Byron. But the real race is between Bear Bersky, Kevin Harvey, Denny Hamlin, and Joey Logano, as they look to point themselves into being the NASCAR Cup Series champion. We're off at Homestead, Miami! All right, everyone, and welcome back to the Promotion Gaming YouTube channel. At NASCAR Heat 5, we are here at Homestead, Miami. The final race of this long Cup Series season. And we're going to see if we can't win ourselves a championship. Getting past Kevin Ovick, that's uh, right up here. Very, very important. we got Joey Logano up there. Now, Denny Hamlin and Logano, they're pretty steeped in the points as I send around Kyle, Red uh, Kyle Reddick. Who is he? Who in the world is Kyle Reddick? Tyler Reddick. Good night. But anyways, they're pretty steeped into the points. Uh, we're leading them, Kevin Harvick and myself, we're leading them about by 40 points or so. So they would obviously have to win and then uh, Kevin Harvick and myself would have to really finish extremely badly uh, to be able to not defeat them in the points battle. So it's really between me and Harvick. Need to cut burst there a little bit. Car does not really want to turn, so I'm going to have to look at that in the future. Obviously, Ty's going to warm up here at Homestead. We'll have to see how that all moves on, but nice to have the championship race back here where it belongs at Homestead, Miami. All right, so we got Kearney Keselowski up there leading the way. Car feels pretty slow, honestly. Just it's very stiff. Doesn't really want to uh, turn. Once we get into the turns here, yeah, really doesn't want to turn any. Kind of sliding up the track there, but really not wanting to uh, make the turns at all. So that's certainly an issue. We'll have to take a look at what we got going on with the wedge and other things like that. But uh, right now we are at a bit of a disadvantage. Good night. Yeah, the car really doesn't want to move any. So uh, that's definitely going to be a bit of an issue for us moving forward here. It's currently called very, very stiff in the turns and not wanting to be cooperative for us. As Denny Hamlin moves to the lead, doing what he needs to to hopefully win this championship. But more than likely will not be able to get it done unless uh, catastrophe falls upon me and Harvick. So a little bit late here for uh, Hamlin, but still potential if things work out just right for him. Joe Logano up here as well. He's working on it. We got uh, William Bone up here, first time. I think that might be the first time he's had a pole this season. I don't remember, but good time to have it. Going into uh, the off season. Kind of making some good moves there on Byron. Yeah, the car just, it's weird how it wants to turn. It just, it's, it's very strange. It really just does not want to make the turn very well. Kostowski going after Hamlin there. Nice to see. I'm not really sure how to describe what the car is doing, but it is like, uh, it's, it's weird. It's definitely weird. Definitely wearing a lot on the right front and the right side there. We got ourselves in the important factoids. We got ourselves uh, on lap 6 of 35. And we've got ourselves 9 laps of fuel remaining, so pit stops are going to be coming up here in a short while. 29 laps remaining. As we work to get past the Fudge Brownie Mobile of uh, Kyle Busch. Sounds tasty, Kyle. Very, very tasty. Fudge Brownie. Mm -mm, sounds good. Alright, Kozlowski able to get around Hamlin, so currently it's the white car duo. One black and red, the other one purple and orange, but uh, white has the basic background nonetheless. 
we can't catch up to them here. So, I mean, the car's we're catching them, but I don't know. I just, I really don't like how the car feels on the short run. The long run seems to be doing okay, but, uh, ooh, good night. Lost control there. But, um, definitely on the short run, it is not going to be helpful. A very good setup to have. It just really does not like turning here, so we'll see how that works. But long run, I think we got it, but short run, not what I'm needing for sure if we get a uh, green-white checkered style finish. Uh, nobody pitting yet. So far, no caution or incident to speak of, as well as I can tell. Brush the wall there just a little bit. Not too bad. That break there. Ooh, boop, 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 boop. Yeah, the car just has some, sometimes it just gets into a groove and starts turning down by itself, so you gotta watch for that. 26 laps remaining here, 6 laps of fuel, keep an eyeball on all that. One car has come down to pit road so far, ooh, boy. Got one to take off by itself. It's a weird feeling in this car, I've never felt this in a car at Homestead before, so as I said, we're gonna have to check what the wedge is doing. It's, it's definitely weird how it's handling here. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Man, did we, did we put too much steering into the car? I'm not sure what we did, but it's it's unsettled, that's for sure. Nice and easy, nice and easy, nice and easy. Ooh, there it goes. All right, I hit the wall a little bit harder than I was expecting there. No caution for that incident, as per usual. Okay, I need to get down, guys. Thank you. All right, coming down pit road here. Let's see what we got in the system. Uh, Which is that a 50? Let me see here. We're going to put some wedge into the car here. We'll see what that does. Uh, fix the damage, fuel, all of that. Rear, right front. Wow, that's some weird tire pressures going on there. I don't know what's going on with that, but that's some wacky tire pressures. Pit crew has done a good job this entire season getting us on and off pit road. They're working on the damage there. We got Kevin Harvick behind us. More than likely, he's going to get out in front of us here in just a bit. So, major damage. Could put a bit of a hampener. Actually, he might be out. He's not moving. Is he not moving? Kevin Harvick is not moving. When did he get into the pit stall? I don't know, but Kevin Harvick was not moving. Uh. Could he be out already? We're in position 39, not good for us. Alright, so we changed some tire pressures on the uh, right sides there. See what that does. And we went up on the wedge just a little bit, so we'll see. Ooh, okay, I kind of like it already. Feels a little bit more responsive. Good. I think we had the stinking tire pressures way too high, and I don't know who did that. Kevin Havick's still sitting there. Kevin Havick is out of the championship hunt. So that leaves only me, Hamlin, and Logano. Even remotely in potential. Good night. That, that, I was not expecting Harvick to have a blow up at this point. Wacky. Alrighty, so Kevin Harvick no longer a threat. I've just got to finish higher up than some of these other guys. We're going to end up staying out here. Uh, we're not going to gain, we're going to gain one position there, Montrix Jr. Minus 30, looks like he's out of the session. Alright, let's see if we can make our way towards the front here. Might need to lower those tire pressures a little bit more uh, once we come back down. Yeah, Kevin Harvick is out of the race. Brad Kozlowski up there leading uh, the way for Penske. I'll try and slice my dice my way through here real quick. 
But yeah, going up on the wedge, putting some uh, more tension on that uh, left front. Uh, that's helping out with the suspension quite a bit. There's still a little bit, a little bit too stiff in my opinion, but we'll work with it. I'm trying to keep my low line here. Everyone's blocking it up, so we can't get past the better ditto. As I said, we don't have to finish in first to win this, but we do need to finish uh, as far towards the front as we can. We're going to get to Renick there a little bit. There we go. We've got a TRD mobile up here. Not sure what paint scheme that is, but it looks pretty good. Looks like it might be... with the 20. 20 TRD machine. That's a pretty paint scheme. Don't remember it, but it looks good. A little bit of draft right there. That's a nice looking TRD paint scheme. I like it. Yeah, it looks good. Alrighty. Back to what we need to do, and that's get up to the front. Ties are still acting a little bit weird. I think that's mostly because they're blown out of proportion. And yeah, we need to bring the tire pressure down, but other than that, I don't think we have that much of an issue. Aye, 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 aye. There's the 41. Custer. Looking getting past him. Yeah, definitely that wedge has helped out a lot, but I think the main issue we get is that we got way too much tire pressure going on in the uh, right sides. That's causing them to overheat, and that's causing us a loss of traction, so... I think that's the majority of the issue going on here. But uh, long run seems to be doing pretty good. 15 laps remaining, we got 9 laps of fuel, so one more pit stop is inevitable. Whether that is uh, under caution or otherwise, we'll still need to be able to get that fuel topped off to make sure we can make it all the way to the end. Denny Hamlin going back after the top spot again. Getting blocked by Bush and Kozlowski. Logano kind of falling back here a little bit. But still in somewhat of contention. We're moving our way back forward after that major crash. Amazingly able to keep our car on the track and not have any issues. Getting towards Kurt Busch here. We need a bit of draft off of him. Down low. Nice and easy we go. And he had him working on getting past Bush. He does moving towards Keselowski. Brush the wall there a little bit. 13 laps remaining, 7 laps of fuel remaining. Nice and easy running on that white line. Good. We won't have time really to make any tire pressure adjustments. We're going to want to skip making any more adjustments. The car works the way it is. It's going to be a little bit slow firing off though if we were to get a restart. But we should be able to hold on with the wedge adjustment as that really did help the car out. 12 laps remaining here. 6 laps of fuel. Still working our way past these guys. Get past the 42. We're going to work on the 24 here. We should get past him. Right there. Very good. We got uh, Alex Bowman, Eric Amarola, Kyle Busch, Kislowski, Hamlin in front of us here. As we cross over the line with 11 laps to go. Got somebody stuck on turn three. Looks like they're going to get it back going. No major issue. Nobody uh, hitting pit road yet. Maybe the leaders here. We'll see. Kozlowski is off towards pit road. As I believe that's Quinn Huff there. Ended up uh, bringing his injured car to pit road there as well. Four laps remaining. We're going to need to pit here in the next lap or so for tires. Ooh, boy, God kind of got away from me there. Alright, 
right, I think I'm going to try and come this time by as I slide up the track. It ain't that break. Good. Alrighty. I'm going to come down and get that little bit of fuel that we need. I'm going to go ahead and take four tires. And we are good on the wedge and setup. I would change the tire pressures, but we're going to leave it as it is. We went pitting alone here. Gonna be coming out onto the track. And here we go, a racing. Denny Hammond continues the lead, is now making his pit stop. As I said, we're not gonna have great fire off speed here, but we should have a decent workaround. If our uh, ties just totally we're not ready for that. Ooh, I think we got smoke here on the front stretch once again. We'll see how that moves along. Should be ahead of Hamlin here. Ah, we got Joey Logano smoking. Joey Logano is going to be out of the chase here. Might have been trying to go too far on the strategy. Not sure, but he's done. Going towards the back. A bit more damage there on the side. Joe Degano makes it the pit road. Seven laps remaining here. Another car with a huge spin. That's Kyle Busch. That's going to send Cole Custer around. Multiple other cars getting involved. Still no caution thrown out by NASCAR. As of course they would want Denny Hamlin to win, and we all know why, because it's a great storyline. Or is it? I'm not sure it's a great storyline. Definitely not my story. Anyways, we're currently in ninth position. That should be good enough to see us into the championship, but it would be better if we could win this race ourselves. Can we catch up to Hamlin? Not sure if we can, but we might be able to. There we go with eighth past. Chase got multiple cars making it down to pit road there after those incidents. We might have to settle for just finishing eighth, but still, we should be good to go. Multiple cars there smoking down pit road there with issues. Five laps remaining here at Homestead, Miami, the home with the NASCAR championship. There we go, caution. And that's gonna let us have a overtime restart. Is our car gonna be any good at this restart? Probably not, but it does give us an opportunity to rack them up. Let's see if we can't get a win. I don't think we can, though. We're in a bad position to be able to uh, get around people. So I don't think we're gonna get anywhere here. Kind of stuck, gonna ride up the track a little bit. Let's see if we can't catch some draft here. As we have NASCAR overtime and championship race. Get the Mackenzie. Gonna run wide. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're gonna get. We were gonna get a push from everyone, but he broke off. Gonna get some draft off of Kenseth, gonna get below him. Oh, the car just doesn't want to handle. Come on. Come on. I'm not going to be able to get to him. It's not the handling car that we needed 
for a short run here. And it's going to be a three wide finish for second. Whew. But we should still win the championship without any issues whatsoever. But uh, definitely a bummer not to actually win the race. So that's, that's sad. All right, so there's your finishing position. Denny Hamlin gets the final win of the season. We get second, Eric Amaroto in third, Matt Kenseth in fourth. We got uh, Alex Bowman, Kurt Busch, Chase Eddy, Daniel Suarez, Clint Boyer, and Ryan Blaney. Those guys in the top ten. Ryan, Ryan Newman able to get 12th. Good for him. But all the way down here, we've got Joey Logano out of the race. Cole Custer, Brennan Gone, lap down. Kyle Busch, Quinn Huff, Montrex Jr., and Kevin Harvick, the only guy that could actually have beat me in the championship standings there in 40th with a mechanical issue. So, bummer for him. But there we are, we are the champions. No possibility of Denny Heron being able to get the points to pass us. We win the NASCAR Cup Series Championship here for Florida Race in the first time in the Cup Series, and that is awesome. So there we go, celebrating at Homestead Miami with our championship trophy. Absolutely awesome. Ooh, nice, EcoBoost 400 at Homestead Miami. Nice. So there we go, we got the Ford into championship victory lane with the champion trophy right there for us. That is awesome. Got everybody celebrating their great work by the entire Florida racing team. Love it. And really, really great season overall. That's going to conclude the first season of the Cup Series in NASCAR Heat 5. Let me know what you thought of it. And we'll see what we do next as we continue to wait for a brand new NASCAR game to eventually hit the shelves. But anyways, that is great. Lots of fun. We won ourselves a championship here at Homestead, Miami. Very cool.